coming in. Welcome to Ignite Boise 5. I just really want to take a moment to say that it's truly fantastic to see so many beautiful brothers and sisters out in the audience. Give yourself a big round of applause. I'd also like to also take a moment to thank the Egyptian Theater for hosting this event, all of the volunteers who have given their time and effort to make this happen, and also especially all of uh, our sponsors who make it possible for us to get together in this temple of our great god Anubis and have such a lovely evening. Uh, and that's enough gilding the lily, because that's not what we're here to do tonight. My name is Darren, I want to talk to you about using Notepad in a word world. I don't want to tell you how to live your life, I want to give you a suggestion on a way of living your life. Ultimately, what we have to ask ourselves is what do we value in certain areas of our lives? What do we want and what do we want to be after? And I challenge you to make your value in life form over anything else. Because it's really important how you look. And, oh wait, that might not be what my slide says. <laughs> no, I challenge you in your life to value the content of what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're writing, what you're working in, whatever action you take, to take the time out to say the content of my activity is worth more than the form of my activity. As I was walking here tonight, I was struck by the beauty of our fair city. There's a lot of stuff going on there, just people everywhere, there are restaurants, the leaves on the trees that we planted over time, turning these beautiful colors and all of the things going on that make this a truly fantastic place to live. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I remembered what was important about Boise. It's an acronym it means because, obviously, it sucks elsewhere. And uh, the thing that makes Boise such a wonderful place to be is the way the people in this place are, the content of the character, the content, the activity, all of the entrepreneurial things that people are doing, all of the things that people want to do and all of the things that people want to tell us, the content of what's going on, like my good friend Brian in the front row, I listen to his words daily. Why? Because I respect what he has to say. He uses the medium of Twitter to say it. You know, we can't fault him for that. But there are three main areas where I want to challenge you to value uh, your content over your form. First is in your work, second is in your relationships, and third is in the way you view your own future. So first, as you go about your work, as my slides represent, this is only one section of our lives, one way we read the content. You put the text on the screen so that people can get a good laugh. You use the Ignite Voice template because you don't have to waste your time making other things happen. So in your work, don't go to your boss with a lie on your lips and tell him I've come up with this excusable plan that's going to make us millions of dollars. Go in with a useful and worthwhile idea and talk to your boss or talk to your coworker or talk to your partner and say what we're going to do moving forward is going to be a useful and effective practice. Because if you gild the lily when you're talking to, you know, your important business relationships, you're not actually doing what you're there to do. But what next? How can we talk about content over form in our relationships? Well, again, it goes back to our offices. Uh, I work for the state. Uh, everything in my work is political. It's vitally important to a lot of the people. Uh, that I work with, that they're only seen with the right people, that they only interact with the right other people, and because if they're seen with the wrong person, they won't get the vote, they won't make it to office, and they won't live on the gravy train anymore. They're lying. Uh, they're essentially living a life that says, I value the form over what I do, more than the content of my action as a politician, which affects you people. So don't support that. Don't vote for the people who are up there in the most slick suit. Vote for the people who are up there saying, I am going to change the world, and this is how I'm going to do it. And you are giving me good content. And on that note, as we are looking toward the future, I challenge each and every one of you to say, when I look forth and when I go out into the world and engage with you, I will pay my taxes in a timely manner. Uh, say, I will make this world a better place through the words that I use, through the way that I act, and in the way I interact with my brothers and sisters on this planet, I will ensure that we can improve the level of life for everyone by making our lives matter. Thank you very much. Have a great night.